Rule number 30, every unsuccessful prospecting call earns compound interest. If you're using a system like the Sandler Selling System, you have a predictable and reliable method to gauge your progress throughout the selling cycle. You have a checklist for pre-call planning to prepare for the call, as well as to debrief yourself as to what happened during the call. You can measure what went right and frankly and honestly determine room for improvement the next time. So let's look at the word unsuccessful. The only truly unsuccessful call is the one you never make. The one where the phone feels like it weighs 400 pounds, you have a conversation in your head about what the buyer's gonna say to you, and it's never positive, is it? And have an internal emotional response and end up never picking up the phone. Hey, that's one way to decrease your phone usage. Think of all the money you'll save by not making the call. All right, let's take a look at the five allowable outcomes of a sales call. Number one, you could get a yes. Oh, and by the way, the check still has to clear, and we certainly love those yeses. Two, you can get a no. It might sting for a little bit and for a while, but it's sure better than let me sleep on it for a while and get back to you. We call those slow no's. And always remember that no does not equal never. Three, a clear next step, an agreement that you and your prospect have crafted that is mutually understood and agreed to. Four, introduction or a referral. Maybe your product is not a fit for your prospect, but they might know someone who is. So they'd be interested in referring you. Five, a lesson. There are two types of lessons. Find out what you did correctly, identify it and repeat it over and over again. Find out what you did incorrectly, fix it and hopefully don't make the same error again. So you see, every call you make generates outcomes. Learn from your success as well as hiccups and you'll build a pipeline of new business that will pay you compound interest in the future. This rule and all the Sandler rules you are learning will only benefit you if you put them into action. Build them into your daily behaviors, attitudes, and techniques. With each step you are making a positive direction, you're going to be well on your way towards having a more powerful selling system before you know it. This is Scott Bailey with Sandler Training, and I wish you good selling.